and now the outside. New awning. New tracks in the windows. New wheel covers. Repaired fiberglass fender skirts. We didn't redo the paint or pinstriping. We left it as is, except for just shining the outside. We did repaint the grill and the mirrors just to make them look nice. This is the door for the water heater which has been lit and tested. These are the doors for the fuel, different mechanical access, that's the refrigerator panel, water, hooks up to a hose, or you can fill the tank with those, another fuel door, sewer waste emptying area. New light covers where they were missing. We, don't, we try to keep and reuse whatever is still useful. If, if for instance, these tail lights may have a little cracking, but they're useful, they work. Uh, there's really no need to replace them. No need to waste what's already there. It's working, so we kept it. Kind of the same thing with the the paint. It's not perfect. It shows its age, but we kind of like that. Either you like it or you don't. Your preference, and you know that's that's what we're doing. I'll show you the um, driver's area. Oh no, I guess I won't. Yes, I will. It's open. Okay, sorry about that. So. Um, this is all original, just cleaned up. Old fashioned crank handle to open and close the window, which works just fine. And then these window vents are really pretty nice. Gets you a nice circulation going as you're driving. I kind of wish they still made these. Um, We did replace the seats, and uh, that's because they were like a uh, pink mauve color that just I wasn't going to work with anything except that, and I didn't like it. So we got these van seats from the junkyard, and they're in excellent shape, and they're comfortable. They're bolted down securely. There is. A new radio because there was no radio to begin with when we bought the thing. This is a CB radio which isn't tested but it was here so we left it. And the air conditioner here is original. It works great actually. Um, all the cabinets are original just painted and distressed. Microwaves original, stoves original. Um, replaced the flooring it was it was kind of the ugly mauve carpet we just couldn't do it and the sofa is original too uh, I know I said this was the outside we did the outside already and that a cute little rack there for whatever anyway this sofa is the original sofa but it's slip covered so the big cushion on the bottom is actually three cushions you can take that off and wash it as with the back it's a slip cover three cushions in there take the slip cover off and wash it we upholstered the bottom and all the fixed things are upholstered with staples the uh we did a, replace this vinyl here um because we reconfigured this area a bit. It was more closed in so we opened it and we uh, redid the vinyl just on the back part here 
and around the driver's area that way. But here's the original color. It's kind of a tan in between the two new areas. It's all right, you know? And this, I think, probably originally started out as kind of a pinkish color, but it has faded to tan, so it's perfect. I think that's all I have to share with you for the moment. Oh, no, I wanted to point out back here, I kind of did a headboard treatment out of a recycled hardwood that was made into tiles. You know, it has the uh, net backing on it so that you can use it like ceramic tile. It is wood. It is whitewashed just a little bit. And as I said, the, the cabinets are painted and distressed. The TV works great for, we have it just plugged in and uh, we can play DVDs easily. There is a on-roof antenna, which is, you crank up here. But the location of the plug-in is kind of odd. It's here on the kitchen back wall. Um, and so you could sit a TV here on the countertop while you're not using the area and plug into the, the antenna there. Also, I showed you earlier the antenna access in the bedroom is right here behind the curtain in the corner and then you've got the TV shelf here right above one of the bunks excuse me twin beds so you can plug into the um, antenna that way too all right that's it for now y'all see you at the tiny home show in st. Augustine <laughs>